Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to the latest match day vlog on the channel. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Wrexham, Tuesday night under the lights. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to the latest match day vlog on the channel, Doncaster Rovers versus Wrexham. Wrexham looking pretty decent in third in the table, looking for automatic promotion after promotion from the National League last season. Hopefully we can put a uh, bit of a speed bump in that tonight. With the informed team, stranger things have happened. There's still a slim, slim chance of playoffs, but I think we'll probably give ourselves a little bit too much to do. If you want to hear my thoughts in a little bit more detail, I'll link it in the top corner of the screen. Go ahead and check that out. But we're running a little bit late tonight, so I don't know if we'll get fans for us. Probably not. But we will get the family's for us before kickoff. Uh, Anthony is here, so we'll get his score prediction in a short while. Um, confirm team lineups. And then hopefully some celebrations in the home end. Sounds like it's going to be a decent attendance tonight, which you'd expect against Wrexham. So let's get to the ground. So we have got some fan sports here yeah. and I am absolutely honoured to have Finley on the channel. Yeah. Wanted to meet you for absolute ages. You say that I'm, you, you look forward to seeing me. I've been, yeah. I've been looking forward to seeing you, mate. Yeah. It's fantastic. So happy that you're here. Um, yeah. I've gone 2-1 Wrexham. What are, yeah. what are you fancying today? Um, 4-0 Donny, 5-0 Donny, 6-0 Donny. Oh, that would do, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. If that happens, oh, you can come again. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is Finlay, absolute legend on the channel. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Uh, oh, legend. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, some more fan sports. You'll uh, you'll recognise Scott from uh, from the podcast that I did. When was this? A month ago? Two yeah, months ago? Um, into into your fitness, into your, into your weightlifting, but also into the mighty Donny. So, uh, just a quick score prediction, mate. It's, it's going well. Um, yeah. Is it going to continue going well tonight? I think so. Score draw, I reckon, 2 2. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. No worries, man. So, we've got Addison here who's wanted to be on the channel for a bit. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's greatly appreciated, it really is. Uh, score prediction for today, mate? 2 1 Donny. 2 1 Donny. You can be on again. Thank you very much. Buzzing to have Billy on Fan Sports. We've been wanting to meet him for ages. Uh, but we're now in the ground. Uh, we've got the confirmed team lineup, two changes, loads of Tyler in goal, Sterry, Maxwell, Olu, Wood, make up the back four with uh, Molyneux, Biggins, Bailey, Beamu, Craig, Nadal Aiken in the side as well. Hopefully that's the starting level to get his uh, three points today. Quick one score prediction because atmosphere is absolutely mental. I've gone with a 2 1 direction. 2 1 Donny. 2 1 Donny. 3 0 to Donny. 3 0 Donny. Two one Donny. Uh, I'll go on this one as usual. Two two two. two, two. Yeah. Yeah. Go, this. Score prediction, Dan. Two one Donny. Two one Donny. Three one Rex. Three one Rex. Right. Two one Donny. Oh, there we go. A bit of a mixed bag. Let's go and watch the first half. <laughs> Similar against Forest Green Rovers 
Grant. In his dad and granddad said they'd be disappointed because that's his bread and butter. He's had another opportunity today and he's shown that is his bread and butter. What a header at the back post. Fantastic bowling from Maxwell. Rovers 1-0 up just before the break. Well deserved as well. Come on. Two minutes are up. We're still 1-0 up. But we have got a free kick in a very dangerous position um, on our right side. The key of Adelaikens over it. Um, be nice if this goes in and makes it 2-0 just before half time. But yeah, I think we've got value for the lead. Um, it's been fairly even but we've, we've, we've had a couple of opportunities um, it's oh, all that was straight in and that is half time um, fantastic performance bodies on the line defensively and a goal to boot as well let's go and watch the second half and see if we can hold on to this or add to it go on Rovers oh he's off oh what's he done oh that's bad yeah that's a poor start oh, oh. We said on my stream on Sundays, uh, oh, oh, what a chance. A couple of early chances in the first five minutes of the half. Rovers cross in, hits the crossbar, and then just deflects off of uh, Rex and defended for a corner. A couple of opportunities from that corner, but nothing really to shout about. Uh, and then a golden opportunity there for uh, Boyle. But we're through here. Oh, great challenge. We're looking good. It's end to end. Fantastic advert for League Two football. 50 minutes, we're still one up. But it keeps twisting and turning. Don't know if he's going to get his crossing. Oh, he's, he's beaten him. Call the ball. He's won a ball. Fantastic from the keeper. there. He's still won that. 61 gone. Better the chances are falling to Donny this half. But Wrexham still look dangerous on the attack. And then they've just brought Fletcher on as well. Which is not a bad player to bring on at this level. But hopefully we can extend our lead. We are looking decent for this one goal I've had so far. Go on. No! Massive chance for Hickey. BMU lays him off. He just crashes it wide of the post. Will we uh, will we rule these missed chances? We will see. 61 goal one. Shoot! 69 gone and another golden opportunity for Adel Aiken at the back post. Just don't want to go in. I've seen the story before. Hopefully it's not a repeat of that story. Aiken takes a goal. Yeah. I can. Oh, what a finish. Offside! Six minutes gone. Just before that went in, we said we could sense a goal. Wrexham are properly turning the screw here, putting pressure up. Very fortunate that whoever it was at the back post decided to put his toe on it. We were in an offside position. Still 1 0, 76 gone, but we are under pressure here. Bad injury there for Richard Wood, crash of heads, and he's covered in blood. A bit disappointed with the Wrexham fans who have done real, they've been decent all game, but booing him, singing, letting him die, and stuff. It, not for me, not when it's an actual serious head injury like that. Stretch came out, didn't need it, but he didn't look very steady walking, walking off where he's covered in blood. Um, he went down on about 90 plus three. He's now 90 plus six, so there's going to be a couple of minutes extra to add to added time, but we still won the look. Fletcher, what a save! save. What a save! Full time and what a performance that was. Um, fantastic save at the end from Lota Tyler, which won the match for me. Uh, but Wrexham put everything into it, turned the screw towards the end. Um, probably unfortunate not to get a draw out of it with the amount of efforts that they had and the pressure that they put on us. But hugely battling performance, hard as nails from, from us. Um, you've not seen us for a while. It's a big difference in the Probably the best I've seen him play, even better than against Everton. There we go. Big words from Anthony. And a fantastic performance. The hope is still a little bit alive. I, I just think we've got too much to do to get into playoffs, but there's just, it's something, it's there. There's that little light at the end of the tunnel and in football, you never, never know. Um, I know, fantastic run of form. Hopefully we can continue with that. Um, if we don't get playoffs this season, I am looking forward to next season um, massively. So that's where I'm going to end this one. If you've enjoyed it, big thumbs up on it for us, please. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.